Hey, what's up guys, Flick here. Today I'll be introducing a new series that we'll be doing in the lead up to FIFA 19. While we don't yet have the full version of the game, we do have the complete database of FIFA 19. So I thought I would give you guys the upper hand by looking at new players in FIFA 19. So that way when the full game drops, you guys can hop right into career mode and check these players out. We'll be starting today with goalkeepers. It's also worth mentioning that when I say new players, I mean players that were not included in the full release of FIFA 18 about a year ago. They might have been added to the database in the middle of the year, but you guys might have missed them if you stopped playing crew mode after a couple of months, or their team may have not been included in a licensing at all. If you think this is a cool idea for a series, or you want to see more of these videos, please make sure you leave a like on this episode, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, as it directly supports me. We'll begin our list with a game changer for promising goalkeepers in career mode, Andre Lunin. The Ukrainian shot stopper has seen a huge surge in his market value in the last year or so, partially due to the fact that he signed for Real Madrid on a six-year deal in July 2018. While some argue that his competition in the Ukrainian Premier League doesn't translate to the top European leagues, he has put in strong shifts in the Europa League and he's already been capped by the senior Ukrainian national team. Standing 6'3", the 76-rated 19-year-old has entered the mix as one of the highest potential goalkeepers in career mode, and I can guarantee you that a lot of players will be keen to see how he progresses in game. While his 71 handling is slightly lower than his rating might suggest, that's nothing player training can't fix. And you can find him on loan at Leganes for the 2018-19 season, but he should be available for transfer after that. The lowest rated player in this list is Jasper Schendelar, but that doesn't mean he won't be a solid option in career mode if you're looking to develop a young goalkeeper. Having already attracted interest from big clubs like Arsenal, the 18-year-old is one to watch for the future. It's worth noting that he's already played at several matches for his club and national youth teams, so this might be the season where we see some serious upgrades to his stats. Speaking of his stats, they stay pretty true to his 60 overall rating. He's also 6'2", which in my opinion is tall enough to make a variety of saves. You'll definitely want to invest in player training if you decide to sign this player to your team, but like I mentioned earlier, keep your eyes peeled for any upgrades over the year. One of the highlights during the 2018 World Cup for Nigeria was the fact that they were able to lock in the goalkeeper position for years to come in Francis Uzoho. Although Nigeria weren't able to advance out of the group stage, they played fairly well defensively despite being placed in a very difficult group with Argentina, Croatia, and Iceland. On a club level, the 19-year-old saw limited action with Deportivo, but his recent loan to Elche has looked promising so far. Stats-wise, I would suggest making the most of Uzoho's 71 kicking when spotting out counterattacks, and you also want to balance out his diving and reflexes, so maybe place an emphasis on those areas in player training. Height isn't going to be an issue for Uzoho as he stands 6'5". We're moving to Syria for our next player, Rok Vodisek. Still only 19 years old, he's been playing for a few years in the Slovenian league, but his move to Italy makes FIFA 19 the first year that will be able to utilize him in game. Although he might not be the flashiest player in this list, he does offer some decent stats with 68 diving and 69 reflexes and stands at 6'2". We're going to end this list with who I believe offers the most contribution for value, Shell Schöpen. While his stats are to be expected for his 64 rating, the thing that stands out most to me is the fact that he's 6'8 and has a 5 star weak foot. If that's not enticing enough, you'll want to look at his market value, which I think won't be high at all. If you're planning on doing a road to glory in FIFA 19, this might be the goalkeeper that you need. That's going to be a wrap for today's episode, but I do plan on continuing this series in the coming days with defenders, midfielders, and attackers in that order. And also, if you guys want to get involved, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below which new players you think I should review or talk about. I'm definitely open to suggestions, but when you do leave a comment, try to do some research and see if this player was included in previous installments of FIFA. If you've already seen them in FIFA 17, FIFA 18, maybe think of another player that you might want me to talk about. But with all that said, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode, and I'll be catching you all very soon in the next one.